Magai River, the natives call it, the river of the crocodiles in Cannibal Valley. Less than a year ago, it was only one of Africa's countless, uncharted, virtually unexplored waterways. Only the crocodiles disturbed its placid waters, hundreds of them, thousands. The Magai River was their lair, their stronghold, and they guarded it savagely against intrusion. But today, into this wild domain, dominated for centuries by the crocodiles, a tribe of colonists has come. Civilization. Along the river echoes the sound of axes, hewing timber for future homes. The sound of guns, destroying the grim guardians of the Magai River. Today, the river is the life stream that nourishes a new and flourishing colony. Members of the colony work, and they take precious minerals from the mines, copra and coffee and palm oil from the plantations, furs, ivory, ebony, and transport them down the river to the colony's main settlement. a dream. Now it's a busy, thriving community. Well, Commissioner, are you satisfied with our progress? It's unbelievable, Mr. King. In less than a year, all this, you've done a magnificent job. Not I, Commissioner. It's my people. Come in. In accordance with our charter, I've prepared the quarterly report for the government. Shall we go over it now? Later, Mr. King. First, there is a more urgent matter. Ah, uh, yes, the cobalt. Naturally, the government is concerned at the delay in the first shipment. No nation can get along today without it. Amazing, isn't it, the many use of cobalt? Machine tools, delicate magnets, electronics, and in radioactive form, a cheap and effective treatment for cancer. It's used in everything from vitamin B12 and dental bridge work to gun barrel linings and jet aircraft engines. And of more vital importance than even uranium. Now, Mr. King, the first shipment, when may we expect it? Well, our transportation system is still rather primitive. But I think the first shipment should arrive here in a few days. Hmm, and I'd better stay over. I can accompany it on downriver to the government warehouse on the coast. Then your people will be paid the price set by the government. Of course, on delivery.
not turn. Obey me or I'll kill you. Drop your knife. Put your hands up. <laughs> now turn around. <laughs> Keep your hands up. Who are you? You're pretty. Who are you? Found him, that's all I know. You want us to believe you didn't kill him? Cox must have got him. Maybe. He's David Rennie, friend of ours. I thought you'd killed him. Is that why you tried to run me down with your boat? Rovac thought you meant to harm me. Laura is Mr. King's ward. We have orders to look out for her. I was on my way to see Mr. King at the commissioner's request. And you've no objections to letting him question you? Not at all. In fact, I'm curious about a few things myself. For instance. You for one thing, and for another, this. And you saw no sign of the missing cobalt ship, or the colonists who were escorting it? No, just the one man, and we buried him. You're quite sure he was killed by crocodiles? I'm not quite sure. Certainly you don't suspect Roback. Why, he's Mr. King's most trusted aide. He suspected me. I still do. You must forgive my ward. She's simply trying to provoke you. Although I've educated her in European ways, there are times when her jungle blood seems to assert itself. Now, the man you found, there's every reason to believe he was killed by crocodiles. The river is infested with them. But what happened to the others and the cobalt? We'll soon find out. Rovac will organize a search party. I suggest you attend to that cut. Show him to the guest house, Laura. We'd better radio government headquarters. I hope you forgive us. Rovac's always looking after me. 
I imagine you can take care of yourself. I can. I was born in the jungle. I often go there alone. And Roback follows you around in a motorboat, huh? He was on his way to meet the cobalt shipment. I guess that explains almost everything, doesn't it? Almost everything? Crocs may be man-eaters, but they don't eat canoes or rafts or cobalt. They could overturn and sink canoes and rafts and cobalt. Maybe. I'll let you know. Are you going with Roback's search party? No, I'm going with Jim. Wait a minute. You men take care of things here. Frankly, I don't see how you can accomplish any more than Roback, since the commissioner seems to think you can. The government has the utmost confidence in Johnny, Mr. King. So have I and my people, especially Roback. Otherwise, I wouldn't have given him the position formerly held by my brother. Your brother? Never mind, Commissioner. After all, it's no secret that Arnold and I don't get along. Well, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Where is his brother? King banished him from the colony. He's working as a laborer at the cobalt mine. Maybe I better check on him. You suspect just about everybody, don't you? Not everybody. You mean only King is above suspicion? No, only the Crocs. My chauffeur seems to be in a hurry. Goodbye, Commissioner. Bye.
That's a slight accident. You get around, don't you? Do you find my presence so objectionable? No, I want to talk to you. You've been hurt. Just like your friend whose body I found. But the crocodiles went down the river. Not all of them. Better get your shirt off and I'll take care of that. There's a first aid kit in my gear. <laughs> Thanks, Kimber. We can use a fire to dry our clothes. Sir, there's a little more I can tell you of my guardian. The colonists worship John King. They give their lives for him. So would I. What caused the break between him and his brother? Arnold's drinking, mainly. Unfortunately for a robot. Yes. Mr. King expects big things of him. Like finding the cobalt shipment? Mr. King is more concerned about finding our missing colonists than the cobalt. Most men are more concerned about the cobalt. My guardian isn't like most men. Nor are you. You still haven't asked why I followed you. Well, why did you? Civilized life bores me. I prefer the jungle. Like you. <laughs> oh. Hey, take it easy. Sorry. I haven't any sense of humor. I guess it's my native blood. You're not a full native, are you? No. Only on my mother's side. When my father left her, she turned me out into the jungle. Mr. King found me and adopted me. Your mother, what tribe was she from? I'd rather not talk about her. Let's go for a swim. Come on, I won't let the crocodiles get you. I'm not worried about them. Tell the commissioner I'll be up at the cobalt mine later. Where are you going now? Back to the place where I found a dead body. I want to take a look around there. Why, what do you expect? Really, are you that anxious to get rid of me? Thanks. I guess that makes us even. Even? 
Yes, I pulled you out of the river when Rovac ran you down with his motorboat. Is that so? Who are you? Arnold King. Why did you run away? I didn't want Luora and Rovac to see me. They might tell my dear brother I was not working at the mine. And you found Dave Rennie's body? Yes, I followed the cobalt shipment down the river. I thought something might happen to it. Well, what did happen? I don't know. I was too late to see. I was heading back for the mine. I hurt my leg. I think it's infected. You got any sulfur? In my canoe. It's not far away. All right. Let's forget about Rovac and Luora then and consider me the prime suspect. What would I do with the cobalt? I couldn't sell it to the government. There are other governments and a black market for war materials. Okay, that's a point for you. But there were a dozen men escorting that shipment. How could I handle that many alone? Maybe you had help. Not from the colonists. They despise me. They think I'm no good and a disgrace to that very important brother of mine. I didn't mean the colonists. Who then? You think I've got the crocodiles working for me? Say, now there's an idea. Did you ever hear of a river tribe called the Shenzies? Sure. They used to practice cannibalism, but they went away from the river when the colonists came. They're supposed to have some uh, kind of power over crocodiles. That's nonsense. It's just native talk. I think I can make it back to the mine now. Why don't you try to find Rover? We might see him on the way. How far are we from the mine? We're about halfway there. We better have some of our men follow them. No, not our men. Well, here we are at your mine headquarters. You two men, give the others a hand with a new shaft. I want it open before the end of the week. I didn't know you were in charge here. The commissioner said you. That my brother sent me here as a laborer to punish me for being a bad boy? That's right, he did. He thought a few months of lugging sacks of iron ore around might make a man of me. Iron ore? You mean cobalt, don't you? I mean iron ore. Nobody suspected there was anything else around here till I found the cobalt deposit. You found it? I still haven't told my brother where the richest vein is. That's why he has to let me be the boss here. I see. Come on, I'll show you the tunnel. Is there a light in here? Yeah, there should be a lantern.
what that is. Where's this tunnel lead to? It goes up to the surface again, down to the river. in the dark. So was I when I was almost framed by one of those. Oh, well, now, wait a minute. You don't think that I can... Dave Rennie, the man you found, wasn't killed by crocodiles. Both the club and the croc's teeth would leave exactly the same marks. So how could you tell the difference? If your friend had been attacked by crocs, they would have eaten him alive. That could be. Besides, there were a couple of vines tied around the man's legs. Looked like they'd been used to tie stone weights to him. You said looked like. You didn't actually find the weights. No, must have broken loose. And you're still only guessing, aren't you? At the moment, yes. Meanwhile, we've got to get another load of cobalt started down the river. What about the other one? We dragged the river near where Rennie's body was found. There's no cobalt on the river bottom at that point. What about the missing colonists? The rest of my men are searching the jungle now. Where? How do I know? I left them hours ago. I better go try and find them. Your men might get lost, too. What do you suppose he knows, Rover? Only one thing for sure. You were with him in the mine shaft, not me. There's another thing he knows, that there's some connection between the crocodiles and the Shenzi natives. No sign of Rovac yet. been that champ. Maybe it was. Or was it? But the Shenzis are primitive. Some say even cannibals. They were many years ago, but they don't practice it anymore. Surely you don't think that's what happened to the missing men. But what would they want with cobalt? Maybe they want it for somebody else. Roback, for instance. Why Roback? Simply because you saw one of his men cutting some vines? Same kind of vines I found on the dead man. After what happened at the mine, I should think you'd be more inclined to suspect Arnold. Please, Laura. After all, he is my brother. But don't you see? He hates you for having banished him from the colony. He may hope, by stealing the cobalt, to discredit you with the government. 
If Mr. King fails to deliver the cobalt, the government might have to take over here. Why don't you take care of the next shipment? You and the commissioner. Good idea. That way we can keep an eye on both Rollback and your brother. You will accompany us? Later. I want to see if I can locate the Shenzies. Well, very well. I think you may be wasting your time. Just how do you expect to find the Shenzies? I don't expect them to find me. Why should they be looking for you? I'm still alive. I see. You think there will be another attempt to kill you? Don't you? Perhaps. If you persist in taking foolish risks. Simon Arnold and the miners passed by here with the shipment. It won't be long. I delayed the loading to make sure. Row back here. Row back here. Come in. Still nothing. shipment go through. Mr. King is handling it himself with the commissioner. We're all set. Can we still try it? No. No, it's too risky. We'll have to tell our friends to sit this one out. Unless, uh... Unless what? Imagine Johnny's surprise if the shipment was attacked by real crocodiles. Let's get out here. One of the shanties must have brought it. 
They're not that stupid. Uh, they're crazy enough to do anything. Come on. this trip. I wonder. What's the matter? You'd better take the lead from here on, Arnold. Why not you? You lead everything else. Please, Arnold, don't start that again. You don't expect trouble, do you? With my dear brother along? Not very likely. And why isn't it? Nobody dare make trouble for you. If they did, you'd bore them to death with one of your lectures. The insolent young puppy. How much longer can you possibly tolerate him? Not much longer, I'm afraid. What's the matter? I don't know. Yeah, we'd better use the paddles and get over to the bank where we can fix this. Caught the cobalt too. Throw a line on the barge and put it in as soon as it goes around the bend. Thank <laughs> you. 
afraid you were right. Yeah, it's no use. No sign of my other men. Look, it's Roback. He's got the barge. Not the cobalt. There can't be any question now. It's been the crocodiles. Even you must admit that. In this case, yes. Even so, what happened to the cobalt? Dumped off in the river, I guess. All I know, it was gone when I found the barge. How did you happen to find the barge? We saw it drifting. The overturned motorboat is still downstream. That's where you and Jason seemed to hang out. Oh, I figured there might be trouble. And it was near there the first shipment was attacked. How do you know that? Oh, I don't for sure. But it's not far from where you found the body of David Rennie. No use. He knows all the answers. Rovac, you and Jason get some men at the village, see if you can find the cobalt. Now that our boat's repaired, we'll get the barge and go back to the mine and get another load ready. Frankly, I think you've only confused matters by your suspicions. There seems no doubt that crocodiles have been responsible for the attacks. Crocodiles couldn't carry the cobalt away, but the Shenzies could if they were around, and I think they are. Then why don't you find them? I will. I thought you were up at the mine. So did Rovac. I've been trailing him, and I think he's been trailing you. You seen any sign of him? You know, you act so guilty, I sometimes think you aren't. Pretty clever of me, huh? <laughs> What's got him so excited? I don't know. Too bad you killed him. He might have talked. It's obvious enough. The Shenzies have been attacking the cobalt shipment, disguised as crocodiles. But why? For whom? That's what he might have told us. Maybe Luara knows. She's always around when things happen. I've been looking for Mr. King. He's been gone so long, I got worried. You're worried I... enough just to turn over your canoe. He turned it over, I suppose. Kimba, watch this crocodile. <laughs> Oh, 
form. Where? Behind the rock. Shop. Honey, they left the cobalt. Maybe I might have known. Only how'd you get so chummy with a Shenzi? I'm part Shenzi myself. My mother was their princess. These are my subjects. I'm of royal blood. Who's Rolock? Their king? I don't think the Shenzis will give you enough time to figure that one out. may wish to amuse themselves first. If they do, don't interfere. You know, Luora, I've always been a little afraid of you myself. I wondered why you'd been so discreet. I thought it was because of Mr. King. You'd better go on up to the mine now. I'll have my men start getting the cobalt out of the cavern. And don't forget, have Mr. King load all the high-grade ore this time. the opportunity. Rovac has already made the arrangements with his government. So soon? In exchange for the cobalt, they will give you guns, planes, and supplies. Enough to make you ruler of the whole jungle. But haven't I enough power already? The colony... The... But with the cobalt, you can turn your colony into an empire. For whom, Luara? For myself? Or for you? For us both. The Shenzis, aren't they? Why don't you turn it loose, Robeck, and get it over with? I would if it were up to me. But the Shenzis want to have a little fun while they're waiting. Waiting for what? The next cobalt shipment? Will it make any difference to you? Start loading your canoes. How are we going to handle the big shipment when we get it? Just leave it on the barge.
So that herd of elephants is still down river. I'd feel a lot better if Johnny were along. What do you suppose happened to him and Arnold? He probably took him on his wild goose chase after the Shenzies. Johnny could still be right about the Shenzies. After all, as he said, crocodiles couldn't have carried off that missing cobalt. Don't worry. Rovac will find it. That's not too reassuring in view of Johnny's suspicions of him. Nonsense, Commissioner. Rovac would never do anything but in the best interest of Mr. King. Isn't that so? I hope so, Laura. Like I won't have to cut it loose, does it? No, you can just watch. Sorry, I haven't time. You're a fool, Robeck. Whoever you're working for won't be satisfied with a few barge loads of cobalt. You'll have to guarantee a steady supply. There's plenty left at the mine. One more attack and the government will take over the mine. Maybe they'll supervise it, but Mr. King will still be running it. Mr. King? And Luara? Obviously. Send the cobalt down the river already. Let's look around and see if we can't turn up something. Come on. Quite trapped. Too bad it's not going to work. Maybe it will. What do you mean? We've got plenty of time to stop the ship. If we let it go through, they might work that trap in reverse. How? You'll see. Guess we'll just have to wait till they move out of our way. That may mean hours. I'll try to drive them off. The sound of gunfire should make them stampede. It's too risky. They might charge us. We'd better wait. We've wasted too much time already. Better let me then. You can cover me. The war!
see what. Then... Never mind now. Who fired those shots? I did. Elephants were blocking the river. Where's Luar? <laughs> Luar, where is she? I, I don't know. What is all this? What's wrong? Luar and Robak, they've been stealing the cobalt. Not Luar. You must be mistaken. <laughs> Lore's alive. What do you mean? Elephants can't open shoe buckles. She's gone down river to warn Robak and Shenzhen. We'd better tell my brother that she's alive. He'll be happy to hear it. Not yet. Well, what do you have in mind? Let him keep believing she's dead. That way he won't do anything to help her and Robak. You don't really think he was being used by Lore? That's what Robak said. Well, he could have been lying. My brother's no fool. She couldn't make him do anything he didn't want to. Or maybe he wanted to. Well, that's impossible. He's just too big a man. Cobalt to make him a much bigger man. Look, I have no reason to love him. My brother never does anything wrong. He can't. He's just too cold-blooded. Could be somebody warmed him up a little. Okay, we'll do it your way. This is all we could find. She's gone, then. What a way to die. Now that she's gone, I won't be able to help you. Isn't there something you'd like to tell us? Tell you? What? About you and Luara. Rovac. You know them. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Now that Luara... What is this about you and Luara and Rovac? They were working... for me. You? But why? I... I loved Luara. She wanted to be queen of a jungle empire. Rovac's government was to back me in return for the cobalt. Mr. King, you'll continue the rest of the way down the river in my custody, under arrest. You were right. I hope you've got a trick up your sleeve for Rovac. I think I have. Come on. Up. Johnny and Arnold are with the commissioner. And they know we're here. We'd better pull out. No. King has the biggest shipment of all. Why leave without it? It'll mean a fight, and King might get hurt. Does that concern you so much? Doesn't it you? Not anymore. King was never too keen about this, and now he's losing his nerve. It would be better for us if he were out of the way. For us? Doesn't the prospect please you? It was I who made him great. And I can make you even greater. Yes. I believe you could. You ready? Our crocodiles know what to do. Where did she come from? She came to bring us word the shipment's on its way. Everything is to go as planned. Right. Now you stay here with these men and guard the canoes. And keep us covered from this side. We'll go across the river and wait with the rest of the shindies.
Only four men, including King. Where are Johnny and Arnold and the others? They must be coming through the jungle. They do. Jason and his men will take care of them. Arnold, I think the colonists made an excellent choice in electing you their new leader. Thanks, Commissioner. Johnny, if it hadn't been for you, I... Well, I don't quite know how to say it. No need to say anything. Just keep sending out that cobalt. We will. And when we get the new mine opened, we'll be able to deliver 10 tons a week to the government. Guess I better be shoving off. <laughs> What's that? Thank <laughs> you. 